Hey there, welcome back to Marketing Matchmaker. We are just about through January of 2024. I hope that this last month has been incredibly productive for you and that you are headed in the right direction when it comes to your business. Last week, we were diving into streamlining marketing strategies that will help you grow your business. And I hope that you've started implementing some of those strategies into your business. And if you haven't, I wonder why. What is holding you back from reaching your goals? What is it that you need in order to take the next step? Today, I wanted to shift gears a little bit. I wanted to talk about something that I don't think is talked about nearly enough. I've done a full episode not too long ago about burning out in my business, about running my agency for almost a decade and just hitting a wall where I just couldn't do it anymore. One of the things as I look back at that whole situation, well, one of the things I learned is that there was a piece of my business that had I recognized was struggling, I may have been able to pivot and make changes before I hit there. And that was marketing burnout. I remember being so deep into marketing my own business that I lost sight of why I started it in the first place. If I had taken a step back, taken a deep breath and done some soul searching at that point. I think the journey I had on in the agency would have been different than what it ended up being. So today I want to talk about this early warning sign in your business that could indicate that you're not quite in line with what you your business, what you want your business to look like. So in today's episode, we are getting real about marketing burnout. We're peeling back the layers to understand why it happens, how to spot it, and most importantly, what to do to reignite that spark and find a new direction that energizes and excites you. Not too long ago, I had a client come to me and she had gotten to that wall of marketing burnout. When she came to me, like she is the textbook client that I love to work with. She's a go-getter. She loves her business. She's on her A game when it comes to helping her client get results in their business, in their life, in her business. But a few months ago, she hit a wall. Her once passionate love of connecting with her audience started to really flicker out and end. For her, it felt like an endless cycle of content creation and social media updates and trying to keep up with the latest trends. It made it feel like her business was more of a chore than a passion. And her story isn't unique. It's something that a lot of us have faced, but we rarely talk about it openly. So whether you're feeling that same heat of burnout or you just want to avoid feeling burnout in the future, this episode is for you. Marketing burnout is that insidious sense of overwhelm that creeps in when we're constantly chasing results, yet the finish line seems to keep moving further and further away. We're not just talking about a bad day here. We're addressing a persistent feeling of exhaustion and detachment and overwhelm that really arises from well, a prolonged stress and sky-high expectation of your marketing e efforts. Let's face it, that feeling of pushing a boulder uphill with no peak in sight is something a lot of us have probably faced before. This isn't just about feeling tired. It's about reaching that point where the thought of creating another social media post, of a 
looking at your ads, of creating a podcast, or networking feels like it's an insurmountable task. It's that constant frustration when your campaigns don't feel don't yield results. It's that diminishing return despite doubling all of your efforts. And it's that creeping loss of enthusiasm where once we were really passionate and creative about our business. Remember, checking your marketing metrics should feel like an unfolding new chapter, not rereading the same disappointing story. So if you're feeling these symptoms, it's time to pause and reflect. Have you been attributing these feelings to being just part of the grind? I'm here to tell you that they're not. And the thing about marketing burnout is that it doesn't just stay confined to just your marketing. It impacts every aspect of your business. It can impact your sales because when your marketing loses its spark, it directly impacts your lead generation, which impacts your conversion. Marketing is the lifeblood of your sales. And if it's not pumping out effectively, your sales are bound to suffer. And if you look at it from a customer perspective, your marketing burnout can put a strain on your relationship with your customers. It often results in lackluster customer engagement or missed connections or a general sense of disconnect. Customers can really sense when you're not fully present or passionate, which leads to a lack of trust and loyalty and buying. Moreover, more importantly, Your personal well-being is at stake because stress and fatigue and general resentment to your best business, well, these feelings don't just affect your business. They affect your personal life and your relationships with everyone in your life. That could be your team or your relationships with your spouse or your children or your friends. Marketing burnout can actually creep into other areas of your life. If you look at your business as a garden, where marketing acts as both the water and the sunlight it needs to flourish, when burnout hits, it's like facing a drought. Everything starts to wither. Sales, customer engagement, the joy in running your business. So have any of these areas shown up for you yet? If they have, they could be linked to how you're looking and feeling about your marketing. Understanding the root cause of marketing burnout is the first step to making changes. Wish I had seen this when it started. Things like unrealistic expectations, a lack of expertise, unachievable goals, and the trap of perfectionism are often common culprits of marketing burnout. So the question then becomes, are you setting the bar too high in your marketing? Do you have realistic expectations around what your marketing can do for what investment? Are you navigating strategies you don't fully understand and trying a DIY approach that is leaving you lackluster results? Are you setting your goals way outside of unattainable realities? Are they actually smart goals? Are they realistic and attainable? Or are you obsessing over making everything perfect because perfection doesn't exist? These questions are about being honest with yourself and understanding where you might be setting yourself up for unnecessary stress and overwhelm. And this episode isn't just about identifying the problems within marketing burnout. It's also about finding a solution so that you can reignite your passion 
or make a pivot or adjustment within your business that will help you to continue to grow and scale. There are some very real strategies that can help you to rekindle that passion for not only your marketing, but also for your business. When it comes to your marketing, let's consider the power of simplicity. Sometimes scaling back to focus on a few key marketing activities that truly resonate with both you and your audience can make a world of difference. It's about honing in on actions you can perform consistently and with genuine passion. Remember, in the realm of marketing, sometimes less is more. And by scaling back, you're better able to put more thought into quality over quantity. And then there's the aspect of innovation and creativity. Why not inject some fresh ideas into your marketing? This could be things like maybe it's a new social media platform, or maybe it's video marketing, or maybe it's a podcast, or maybe it's altering the tone of your content. Small changes like these can really reignite the excitement and bring a new energy to your efforts. And sometimes it's asking for a new perspective. Maybe you are too deep into the problem. I know I was. When I was struggling with marketing burnout within my agency, I was way too deep into the problem. I couldn't see the problem. And because I didn't reach out to get help when I needed it the most, I struggled with it on my own, which led to me ending up burning out entirely business. Part of rekindling your marketing passion also involves a journey of rediscovery. It's about diving into your why. Take a step back, take a deep breath, and think about why you started your business in the first place. What were the driving force and the motivation? Reconnecting with these foundational reasons can often reignite your enthusiasm for your business and for your marketing. And sometimes they might highlight an area of opportunity where you want to pivot your business. I also want to give you a piece of practical advice. Let's do a quick assessment on your marketing. This is a really simple exercise. Grab a piece of paper and draw two columns. In one column, list every aspect of your marketing that you are doing that is working well. These elements should energize you. You should be excited about them. Most importantly, they should be giving you some kind of positive results. In the other, column, jot down what's not working. What are the things that drain your energy or what fails to deliver results? This audit can be incredibly revealing about what's working and what's not in your business. And it can help you to look at it from a different perspective. When you analyze your list, you can then cut out or delegate the not working column. There may be things in that column that are working, but that drain your energy. Delegate those. It can also show you what is working so that you can double down on those strategies and really make it more effective in your business. This exercise isn't just about trimming the fat. It's about optimizing your marketing efforts to align with what truly works for you. The reality is revitalizing your marketing is about more than just tactics. It's about ensuring that your marketing activities are in harmony with who you are, with what you do, with your passions, with your vision, 
of what you want your business to look like. When your marketing aligns with what feels good and authentic to you, it resonates so much more powerfully with your audience, which is going to translate into tangible results and more joy and effective growth. As we wrap up today's episode, I want you to remember this. You are not alone in this challenge. Marketing, while, vi- while a vital part of your business, shouldn't be a solo endeavor. That can lead to exhaustion and frustration. Marketing should be a reflection of your passion and your vision. If you've lost that spark, it's not the end. It's actually an opportunity to rediscover what makes your business unique. What is it that you do better than anything else? And how do you share that with the world effectively? If you're feeling overwhelmed, if you're seeing signs of burnout, or if you just know your marketing could be more effective with a little bit of expert guidance, I'm here to help. Let's work together to create a marketing strategy that resonates with you and your business and your audience. Head over to yourmarketingmatchmaker.com and schedule a free strategy session with me. Let's start transforming your marketing efforts into a source of excitement and success in your business. Thank you for listening to the Marketing Matchmaker podcast. If you enjoyed this episode, I would love to hear your feedback. Please head over to Apple iTunes and leave a review so we can hear from you. And if you are a coach, consultant, or online course creator who are looking to grow your business, increase your income, and scale your impact, Connect with me at yourmarketingmatchmaker.com. I look forward to hearing from you.